First of all, tell us about Pablo Neruda and tell us about how he died. This was right after the coup. Yeah, Neruda was received the Nobel Prize in 1971. By 1973, he was very, very ill, but not dying. He had a cancer, and so he moved to his house in uh, Isla Negra, a beach house. And a month before the coup, I visited him in his house. And he was walking around, and we had lunch. He was doing fine. Then, the day of the coup, the, they raided his house. And they say that that really made him much, much sicker than he, he was. I mean, that was a horrible shock for him, when he saw that all his friends were either arrested or, or in hiding. He was a communist. He had been almost a candidate to the presidency, also. So he was a, a political man. And, um, a couple of days after the coup, they rushed him to Santiago in an ambulance, to uh, a private clinic. And he died 11 days after the coup. They say that he had, his condition had worsened because of the coup. And that was it. There was a very uh, small, almost intimate funeral, because nobody dared show up. I mean, all, all his friends were leftists. They were all in hiding. I went to the funeral, and I was standing right behind, behind the Swedish ambassador, almost holding his jacket, because I knew that if all the soldiers that were aligned along the road were going to shoot, they were not going to shoot the ambassador. So there I was hiding under his coat, practically. And it was a very uh, emotional moment, because people were silent. They were terrified. And then uh, the, the the procession was passing near a construction, and one of the workers in the construction um, shouted, um, Pablo Neruda, presente. And then another one said, Salvador Allende, presente. And the funeral became also Allende's funeral, the, the, the homage that people could not pay to Salvador Allende. So how do you take that news now that four decades later his, his body is being exhumed? It doesn't surprise me at all. Um, the former president of Chile, Frey, died in very mysterious circumstances. He was in the hospital being operated on, and he was telling his family, take me out of here, they're killing me, they're killing me. Mm. And he was poisoned. And, and now it's, it has been proven that he was killed. And the, the dictatorship killed place bombs in Washington. They kill people in Washington, in, in Italy, in, in Argentina. My parents were living in Argentina. They were threatened. They had to escape from Argentina. So my, my brother, who was in, in the Soviet Union, lost his, his passport, his nationality, everything. So the brutality extended its tentacles everywhere. And Pablo Neruda was a very important leftist figure revered by everybody as a poet and as a man. You met him when you were a journalist? Yeah. And I read somewhere that he gave you some career, some career advice. No, no. I, um, I thought that he had invited me because he wanted to be interviewed by me. So I got there and I thought, oh, my God, I'm the best journalist in this country if Neruda wants me to interview him. So I brought a new tape recorder, the old tape recorders, you know, they were this big. And I drove to his house in winter. And then, after we had lunch, I said, I'm ready for the interview, Don Pablo. And he said, what interview? I said, well, I came to interview you. And he said, oh, I would never be interviewed by you. You are the worst journalist in this country. You, you are never objective. You make up stories. You lie all the time, and you put yourself in the middle of everything. Why don't you switch to literature, where all these defects are virtues? <laughs> but that was in 1973, and I didn't pay any attention to that advice until many years later.